Hey everybody, this is your old friend Tarek with a quick instructional video on how to use Chalk and Planboard to input all your weekly lessons um, and hopefully make the process pretty easy, okay? I am in the corner right now, I'm going to get rid of myself, but uh, the one thing I want to say is that we are always going to go to Chalk.com first. You can either just put it in the URL or Google Chalk, Chalk.com, and it should pop up. So let's get started. All right, so now that we are in full screen mode, the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is log in. So I'm gonna click up there, the login. And just to make your lives easier, make sure that you are logging in down here in this Google prompt, log in with Google. Now mine popped up right away because I was already logged into my, uh, my Google account for the district. But if you are not logged into your district Google account already, it might ask you to just do that. Just log in, pretty straightforward. Um, so this is kind of the splash screen, the starting screen. And at this point, I'm just going to assume that you haven't done anything yet in Planboard. If you have, there might be some things here already. For example, some lessons. But I'm just going to assume that yours is blank right now. All right, so at this point, we are going to go up to Planboard right up here. We are going to go down to Planboard Settings, and then we are going to go to Semesters. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to add a school year. I'm assuming we haven't done that yet. So it defaults to this pretty basic name, 2022 to 2023 school year. I would probably keep that. And then for the first day of class, we're just going to pick what our first day of class was. I'm just gonna set ours as August 15th. And then for our last day of school, it defaults to June 30th. For ours, I'm going to set ours around May 26th. And then I'm going to hit next. And then it's going to ask you which days you are teaching. So it defaults to Monday through Friday, and that is going to be correct for us. So we're going to hit create. And then we have a semester. So we're going to hit OK, let's go. Um, so now we have a semester, but the problem is we don't actually have any classes in our semester. So we're going to have to add a class right up here to create your first class. Now, the one thing I want to point out is that you are adding preps, not periods. So if, for example, you are teaching chemistry and biology, you're not adding all five periods. You're simply adding one class for chemistry and one for biology or whatever your preps are. So I'm going to hit add a class. I'm going to hit class. And then you're going to enter the name of your class. So I'm going to pretend that I'm in biology again, and I'm going to put biology. Again, you can make the name whatever you see fit. And then you can also right here with this dropper button, pick a color, get a little fancy, go crazy, whatever you're feeling. I'm going to stick with green because that's my favorite color. And I'm going to hit create. So at this point, we have our class biology, but it has not been scheduled yet. So we are going to have to schedule that class so it shows up in our rotation, in our timetable. So I am going to click on schedule. And then you're going to pick the time period that this class happens. Now, remember, we're only doing it once per class. In other words, once per prep. So you're not going to create multiple biologies for every period or multiple classes. So I would recommend typing in the period times for the first time you teach that course. So I'm going to pretend that I teach a biology first period. And I'm going to put the times 8 to 8.50 for first period classes. Again, I know you might teach that class multiple times, but you don't need to do it for every single period. You don't need to create a class. You're only doing it once per prep. I'm going to hit all, and I'm going to hit schedule. And now you notice that they've showed up here. Now, one very important thing, and I cannot stress this enough, is that you must go up here and hit save changes. If you don't, it will give you a lot of trouble. So make sure that you hit save changes. So now I have biology scheduled once per day for the entire week and this will show up every week for now until the rest of the semester so at this point we could do um, some more detailed things with our class so the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to hover up right here where it says plan board we're going to hit that arrow down we are going to hit plan board settings and then we are going to go to classes and notice the only class we have listed for the 2022-2023 school year is biology. So we are going to click on it. And we are going to do add curriculum map. For the majority of you, 
you should be able to find your class simply by doing one of two things. Either one, you can type in the course number, if you know it, of the course, or the second easier option is to click here and probably type it in. So I'm going to type in biology and hit enter. And then right there is our district's biology course curriculum map. Um, notice that there's other options as well, but I'm gonna hit biology. And there I have a bunch of units there waiting for me. And then I'm going to hit next. Then since these are all highlighted, I don't need to do anything there. I am simply going to pick a starting date. And that starting date is just going to be the start of my semester. I think I picked mine to be the 22nd. Um, yours might be a different date, but in any case, I just picked the 22nd. And then you are going to hit schedule. And then again, do not forget to hit save. Very important, hit save. And now, even though you can't see it yet, my biology class is perfectly mapped with my curriculum map and I'm in a really good place. Now the next thing I wanna do is I wanna again hover above this plan board, hit the down arrow, go down to plan board settings, and this time I wanna hit lesson settings. And I wanna make sure that these toggles look like mine. If for whatever reason your toggles do not look like mine, make sure that they do. Because for this one especially, we wanna make sure that um, our days are listed as day one, day two, instead of day A, day B. Just makes things a lot more clear. So we are now going to go back up to the plan board toggle up top, hit that arrow down, and then go down to templates. And then we are going to assign our CHSD 218 lesson template. We are going to hit assign. We are going to click our class, which is biology. And then we are going to close it. And then if we go up to plan board again, click the down arrow, go to our planner for the week and hit today, you will notice that that lesson plan template that you've probably seen before for the entire district, it's now right there, just waiting for you to type in it. You don't need to constantly retype it. In fact, if you go to your planner and look at this week instead of today, you'll see that it's there every single day of the week, Monday through Friday, waiting for you. And if you click inside of it where it says add content, you can just go right in there and type in all of your lessons. So again, right here you can type in a standard, here you can type in a learning intention, success criteria, it even has a helpful sheet if you need help with learning intentions and success criteria. And then you're going to highlight the, some anchor skills that you used in this lesson. And then down here where it says lesson outline, you're just going to outline your lesson. In other words, what are you um, actually doing point by point in your lesson? Um, which activities, which strategies, and then how are you going to begin and end your lesson, of course. Now, if you were concerned about putting a standard here, maybe you don't remember every standard in your subject, you'll notice that there's also something pretty helpful. That's right down here where it says standards. So if you click it, you'll notice that all of your standards for your subject will pop up. And you can actually just pick, using these plus icons, which standard you're using. So for me in biology, it even has this nice little tab that says Unit 1 Ecology, because that's my Unit 1. And it gives me all of the standards that fall underneath it. And I can just click and add a plus sign for which ones apply. So I'm going to pretend that I'm using that one. I'm going to hit that plus sign. And uh, what else? So I'm using this skill set and this NGSS standard. And then I'm going to hit save. Again, don't forget to hit save. Very important. And suddenly it applies them. And now you can see exactly which standards you're using at the bottom here. The other cool thing is that, yes, we do want you to copy and paste the relevant standards here, but you can find them here. So you can, again, just copy and paste them from here. So I'm going to copy and paste this standard. Copy, paste, and suddenly it's there. So again, you don't need to um, have these memorized by any means. You can just copy and paste them. And again, these are here, these standards, because we added the curriculum map. So if you did that correctly, these should show up. And then if I hit save, it should show up here. And if at any point I want to edit it, I just click right here where it says edit content. 
and it brings me back to that screen and I can edit it. And you'll notice that as you go week by week, the lesson plan template that we use now is here. It's waiting for you. So it's actually pretty convenient. It's simple. It's just asking you to type in uh, the different parts of your lesson that you're teaching for the day. Now, I have added one class here, biology, and I'm well aware that many of you, or probably most of you, teach more than one prep. So I just want to remind you real quick how to add another one. So I am going to go right back up here to plan board, click down and go to timetable. And that brings us back to this screen where we started earlier. And then if you want to add another class, you can just hit add class, class. I'm going to pretend mine is chemistry. I'm going to pick a different color. I'm going to make mine pink and I'm going to hit create. And now we've created another class, another prep, chemistry. Notice again, it is still unscheduled and that's where you follow the process all over again. So again, go to the beginning of the video and just do it again. You're going to hit schedule. I'm going to pretend that I teach this class fourth period. So 10, 45 a.m. to 11, 35 a.m. All days of the week, all five days at least, and hit schedule. And now suddenly I have my first prep, my second prep, and I can put in lessons into each one. Now again, you're gonna to have to add a curriculum map to this. You are also going to add a CHSD 218 lesson plan template to this, which again, you can go find the beginning of the video and find out how to do that. As always, if you ever need any help, reach out to me, reach out to your assistant principals, reach out to your tech folks, because they're gonna be really good at this. Um, we're here to help but I really do think that chalk and plan board are a really good tool. It works seamlessly. I think once you do it a few times, a few days, it'll really be just like riding a bike. So in any case, have a great day guys. I hope this was helpful.